Welcome to Ron Jaworski's Ramblewood Country Club, home to 27 of the most exciting holes in South Jersey. If you start out on the red course, the first hole is a par four, 375 yards. Tee off from an elevated tee box to a fairway guarded by large bunkers on the left and a stream to the right. Your approach shot to the green will be guarded by bunkers in front and on both sides. A miss shortened to the right would be your best chance at an up and down on this hole. The second hole is a par four, 354 yards. Aim straight down the fairway and swing for the fences on this hole. If you catch the downslope in the fairway with your tee shot, you'll be left with a short iron or wedge to this slightly elevated green, which slopes from back to front. The third hole is a par five. 526 yards. This will be the longest hole on the course and only the biggest of hitters will be able to reach this bear in two. Play your tee shot down the left side of the fairway to give yourself the best angle on this dog leg. Be sure to avoid the pond on the right and this hole can yield a par or better. The fourth hole is a par four, 457 yards. Rip your tee shot right down the middle from this elevated tee box. Being a lengthy par four, the second shot will leave a long iron or wood for most players. Be sure to avoid the bunkers on this heavily guarded green. A par is a great score on this hole. The fifth hole is a par three, 176 yards. This mid-range par three seems like an easy one at first glance. Take note, it plays slightly uphill. Take an extra club on this one. Be sure to avoid the pond and deep greenside bunker guarding the green in the front. The sixth hole is a par five, 464 yards. Being the shortest par five on the course, this is a chance to make up a few shots in the middle of your nine. Be sure to place your tee shot right down the middle of the fairways, no more than 260 off the tee. The only obstacle you need to worry about is the hazard off the tee. Can someone say birdie hole? The seventh hole is a par four, 382 yards. This slight dogleg right par four gives you yet another chance to swing for the fences. Place your tee shot on the left side of the fairway and you'll be left a downhill approach to a green surrounded by bunkers on the left and right sides. Aim for the middle of the green if you want to play it safe or fire for the flag if you dare. The eighth hole is a par four, 409 yards. This dogleg right uphill par four measures almost 420 yards from the back tees and it plays every bit of that. A meticulous tee shot down the right side of the fairway will lead to an uphill second shot in which only the flag stick is visible. Par is a great score on this hole even for the most skilled players. The ninth hole is a par three, 144 yards. This downhill par three requires a mid to short iron for most players. Do not let the lack of distance fool you, it's still a tough one. Miss the green short or long left and you'll be left with a very tricky up and down. With a precise tee shot on this hole, you can end your round on a high note. The first hole on the white nine is a par four, 384 yards. Tee off from an elevated tee box to a fairway that opens up for longer hitters. Trees on the right and fairway bunkers on the left need to be avoided on this longer par four. A precise second shot is a must if you want to get off on the right foot. The second hole is a par four, 353 yards. Aim right down the middle of the fairway on this mid-range par four. A straight tee shot will allow you to attack the pin on your second shot here. Avoid trouble down the right-hand side and you should be able to get out of here with a decent score. The third hole is a par three, 168 yards. This short par three is a scenic one with water in play off the tee. Be sure to make clean contact here and properly monitor the wind. Club selection is important as this one can make or break your round early. The fourth hole is a par five, 503 yards. This double dogleg par five is one of the most wide open holes on the course. Take your tee shot down the left and you will be left with a manageable second shot. Longer hitters can poke it up around the green in two and birdie is not out of the question here. The fifth hole is a par four, 385 yards. Blast your drive through the chute on this dogleg left par four. A carefully placed tee shot is a must as this fairway is surrounded by trouble on both sides. If successful, take dead aim at the flag stick. Just be sure to reach for the right club. The sixth hole is a par three, 196 yards. Club up. 
This one is a lengthy par three, which requires a little extra club. A miss short on this hole is not the end of the world as one of the largest greens on the course awaits you to come make a par. The seventh hole is a par five, 502 yards. This dogleg right par five is the longest hole on the white course. Avoid the trees hugging the tee box and place your ball right down the middle of this fairway. This will leave you in great position to make a par or better on this monster. The eighth hole is a par four, 365 yards. Take aim right down the middle of the fairway or attempt to cut the corner here to take some distance off this dogleg left par four. Avoid the deep greenside bunkers on your right and left, and you should fare okay on this one. The ninth hole is a par four, 355 yards. Rip your tee shot right in line with the flagstick, but not too far as a hazard sits about 275 yards off the tee. With a strong drive, you'll be left with a mid or short iron to this elevated green. A miss short or long will not hurt you, but miss left or right and you will have to deal with a tough bunker shot. The first hole of the blue nine is a par three, 187 yards. This long, tight par three is a true test for those just starting their round. Although it appears to play slightly downhill from the elevated tee box, be sure to club up and aim for the center of the green. Avoid trouble on this one and move on to the next hole with a par. The second hole is a par four, 303 yards. This short par four is almost as straightforward as it gets. Avoid the bunker on the left and the fairway opens up to a generous landing area. Attack the green with a short iron or wedge and you should leave this hole with a smile. The third hole is a par five, 520 yards. This tight and long par five is a true test for golfers of all skill levels. Carefully place your tee shot in the narrow fairway before a hazard which sits 260 yards off the tee. Trouble surrounds you on both sides as there are trees running down the entire length of the fairway. Your approach shot will be uphill to an undulating green. The fourth hole is a par three. 181 yards. This downhill par three is a chance to get one back after a tough third hole. Hit your tee shot downhill to a green protected by a bunker in the front. With proper club selection and a straight tee shot, you will be left with a straight putt from any angle on this hole. The fifth hole is a par four, 359 yards. A straightaway par four with a wide open fairway gives golfers the opportunity to rip one off the tee here. Avoid trees off the tee to the left, and you should have an easy second shot to a slightly elevated green. The sixth hole is a par four, 351 yards. This is one of the tougher tee shots on the blue course. Be sure to properly select the club before teeing it up, as a pond sits about 230 yards off the tee. Take it down the left-hand side of the fairway, and you will be rewarded with a short second shot to a green sloping back to front. The seventh hole is a par four, 333 yards. This uphill par four is one of the tighter tee shots on the blue nine. Be sure to hit it straight off the tee and you will be left with an uphill second shot to one of the most undulating greens on the course. A two putt on this hole is job well done. The eighth hole is a par five, 460 yards. Running alongside the third hole, this tight par five gives the longer hitters a chance of reaching in two. Hit a straight ball and you're left with a slightly uphill second shot to one of the smaller greens on the course. Stay in the fairway and avoid the bunkers and this one should be kind to you. The ninth hole is a par four, 307 yards. This short par four is a great way to end your round on the blue course. Take your tee shot down the left or blast it over the fairway bunkers to the right and you will be left with a short approach. A precise second shot is key as the ball can easily run off the back of this undulating green. Thank you and we hope you enjoy Ron Jaworski's Ramblewood Country Club.